Hey everyone, so I'm going to show you quickly how to make some red rice, Mexican rice, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to start by cutting up this onion. I'm actually going to be making some chicken and rice or like arroz con pollo. If you know Spanish and you know what I'm talking about. So I always just cut it first so it's easier to peel the onion. I'm also going to turn on my stove and add a little bit of canola oil. You can use whatever type of oil that you use, but we like canola oil. So, for the rice, I like to add onion. You could add garlic, but I don't really like adding garlic. And I don't add too much onion. Because if you see my last video, you seen that we don't really like onion. I just like the flavor of the fried onion in there. But we always end up picking it out. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to let my pan heat up and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have my pan back there. And it's heating up. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and toss in my onions first. So I like to let them caramelize a little first before adding in the rice. And the rice that I make is just super, super simple. I don't add too much to it. Um, I don't put any like vegetables or anything. I've seen people do it and I've ate rice like that. But I don't, I don't really like anything in my rice. So if you do like the vegetables, you could add like some veg all to it. Or even cut up your own vegetables. So while those are caramelizing, I'm going to go ahead and measure out a cup of rice. Now, I don't worry about like washing it off or anything. I just buy the rice that already says that it's been cleaned and everything. Uh, because if you do try and rinse it and then put it in this pan wet, it's gonna stick to the bottom and it like, it's ugly. <laughs> it doesn't come out too good. It like burns really quickly. So by this point, you will be smelling them onions. They smell so freaking good. That's why I do love to add them. And right about now, when you start seeing it, um, some of them starting to brown, is when I will add in my rice. I'm gonna go ahead and measure another half a cup. Because that's the amount we eat. Um, and then just go ahead and keep an eye on it and keep stirring it until it browns. You want it to be nice and fried like a golden brown color. And uh, don't leave it. <laughs> I usually just stand right here and watch it because it can burn quickly and then you'll have like unevenness to it. Sorry if you could see me in the frame. I tried to <laughs> angle it so you can't see my nappy ass right now. Um, but yeah, I just like spread it out. 
So the trick that I use to cook in rice is I follow the instructions on the back. So for every one cup of rice that you cook, you will add two cups of water. So since I added one and a half cups, I'm gonna add three cups of water, liquid. So I will show you that right now. Um, you could also, instead of water, you can use chicken stock, chicken broth. Um, that's always good in it. Um, I do add my own flavoring. I don't usually typically use uh, chicken stock or broth unless I had just previously boiled chicken for whatever I am uh, making. But today I'm not going to boil the chicken so I didn't have any of that. So I will just be adding water and then I'll show you the seasoning right now. So I'm going to go ahead and let that cook up and so I'll be right, right about back. now, this is how you want it to look. Pretty toasted. If you want to go ahead and toast it a little bit more, you can. But this is typically where I stop. Unless I'm busy doing something and I forget and it gets like really brown. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the water. Again, it's going to be three cups. So if you like a more sticky rice that's like a little more on the mushy side is how I could only way I could describe it then you go ahead and add a little more water but I like my rice to be pretty dry not dry but not super sticky so I add a tiny bit under the three cups I'm gonna go ahead and open my tomato sauce you can use real tomatoes I do make it like that sometimes where I will just um, cook and blend up some real tomatoes and uh, use that instead but this is just the easiest way and right now I need easy because I got a sink full of dishes that I need to get cleaned up so I don't add all the can maybe about half and then I stir it and see how it looks if you um, like more tomato sauce then go ahead and add more but it will add more moisture so either add less water if you don't want it so sticky or um, if you don't mind then go ahead and use the same amount of water I'm sorry if I'm not making any sense at all <laughs> I'm really trying I have been getting requests here and there to start cooking so that's why I am doing these videos so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the seasonings that I'm gonna use and I'll be okay, right back so let me fix the angle again Okay, so the seasoning I like to use is this Nor Chicken Bouillon. Um, I just shake it up because it gets clumpy. And I'm also going to add a little bit of this onion powder. Just a little bit. And I don't measure anything. I eyeball everything. I'm really sorry, but when you're a cook, you don't measure, you just dump. <laughs> so if I had to guess, I would guess it's a, 
about two tablespoons that I add. Um, you can start with one tablespoon, stir it up, and then taste the juice. Uh oh. And see how you like it. So, if you would need more of the season, then add more. If you use chicken broth, um, you can just buy the one with the sodium, or you can, if you're watching your sodium, you can add your own salt to it. But I highly recommend adding some type of seasoning because it will be very bland if you don't. So now I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just stirring it real good to make sure that all of the bouillon is nice and dissolved and mixed in good. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat down and all stoves will vary this one like I mentioned before it's really old and so I usually have to use it on a really low heat I freaking hate electric stoves I miss my gas stove but yeah so I'm just gonna cover it and let it sit and do its thing you don't need to stir it. you don't need to do anything just keep an eye on it because once all the liquid is absorbed and gone you want to turn it off if and I will show you if the rice still looks crunchy like you can tell when it's not cooked go ahead and add some more water and yeah I'll be back I'm gonna start my chicken okay, right now so I have my chicken here I already cleaned it and washed it. Um, these are just drumsticks and I leave the skin on because uh, that's the best part. <laughs> I do not add any oil to my pan. Um, the chicken fat from the skin is enough to keep it from sticking. Also I use non-stick pans. So I'm just going to go ahead and fit as many as I can. I'm honestly not sure who's all going to eat tonight. My little sister is currently not home, which is why I'm able to talk through this video and not do a voiceover. It's going to be really long though. Um... So yeah, I'm just going to fit as many as I can in. And I'm going to go ahead and season them up. Okay. So to season it, I usually use this Chef Merito, Merito, I don't know how to call it. This one, but instead of the carne, it's pollo. It's in the, uh, it has a yellow lid. That is my shit right there. That's my favorite seasoning, but I ran out. So I'm going to use this one. I don't really like this one at all. Not even for my like carne asada. I, I use the boil one on all my meat. Pork, chicken, um, beef, everything. As you've seen in my enchilada video if you watched that. So I'm only going to put a tiny bit. Um, you can also use this if you have this one. But I didn't really want to use that one. It's a little too salty. I'm also going to add some cumin. I really love cumin on my chicken. And the um, boil seasoning, it does have cumin in it. So I just sprinkle a little on top. And be very sparing with this. Because it's very strong. It can overpower your whole dish. I'm also going to add some 
lemon pepper, and some fresh ground black pepper. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let that cook up. Um, I want it to get crispy on one side because I'm gonna flip it and then put some onion and tomato on top. And whenever you just check your rice, I just wiggle it back and forth like this to make all the moisture come back to the bottom so the bottom won't start burning. But as you can see, it's getting close to done. So I just let that cook for a little bit. I want it to get crispy so I'm not going to cover it yet. Um, but I will end up covering it once I put, flip it and turn, uh, not turn, once I flip it and put the other stuff on it. So I'm going to go ahead and let that cook up while I cut up the onion and tomato. want to do that which is the warm setting just because it's pretty much done I'm just gonna let it sit a little bit longer now I'm gonna flip the chicken And once you cover it, it does keep the steam in there so it will fully cook through. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my tomatoes and Just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. And all that's going to do is help the chicken steam, steam through. That way the whole chicken gets cooked. And I like to keep some water extra right here in case I notice it evaporated too quickly. So as you can see, I have the heat on medium. I'm gonna get the lid. And I'm just gonna cover it for probably about 15 minutes. The rice, it's currently looking good. So that's about good, exactly how I like it. So I'm just gonna turn it off. And I'm going to let it finish steaming up. It's going to continue to like cook. I don't need any extra water. But if you were to see the rice, they look real crunchy. Then just add some more water. Put the lid back on. But that's about good for me. I'm going to let it finish coming together. I will keep my eye on the chicken. And I will come back when everything's so done. So I completely forgot to do this but I usually like adding salt on top to the
tomato and onions to make them taste better. I'm also going to be adding basically whatever I add to the chicken. Just a tiny bit. Oh, and I'm not even using my tripod. Sorry, it's so shaky. I'm just going to add a little bit of everything. I'm going to try to hurry because when the lid's off, the water will evaporate quickly. 